this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to take a look at this. So one of the things I want to do is up my video game a little bit. And so I was looking for a gimbal. I didn't want to invest a ton of money. Uh, I know DJI has the Osmo. And... Uh, I thought about that, but between the expense, I looked at this guy on Amazon, and I mean, this was sub 100 bucks. So I figured I'd go ahead and get it, because again, I want to shoot some uh, better drone video of just uh, footage of the drone itself. And I thought, what better way to do it than get a gimbal like this? Uh, a lot of the stuff I shoot, I've got a number of older cell phones, all the way from some 4S's to some 5S's to some Samsung Galaxies. So I have a lot of those type of devices. So this made a lot of sense to get one that uh, actually works with a cell phone to do this. And so I think this is sort of a nice combination to go with the drones in, in the videography space. Uh, and I also do some... Um, videos of me shooting videos of the drone that I'm shooting videos of something like that anyways you get the idea so let's take a look at this I got this in uh, the other day and so it comes in a rather nice box um, handheld gimbal uh, now this is a two axis and not a three axis gimbal <laughs> sort of like the spark um, and I actually think that's uh, should be pretty good I mean again for sub a hundred bucks I couldn't really beat this and so uh, comes with the atypical Chinese instructions and uh, comes with some sort of uh, odd battery charger that doesn't want to come out and some sort of odd semi C type batteries um, sort of nondescript batteries these are 3.7 volt batteries I think 850 milliamp lithium ion so apparently these go in the charger there's three slots in the charger and well it also charges by USB and it looks like a mini USB not a micro USB so they're a little bit behind the times with that but that's okay um, and so this charges by a USB port and then we have the uh, actual gimbal itself and uh, this mounts with the phone and these are obviously the control mechanisms for adjusting various aspects of the gimbal so um, maybe let's give this a try and see how it works okay so we've charged the batteries we got the batteries here we're going to pop these out one of the nice things i like is you can stick your fingers through here and they just pop out and then when we go to put them in they go in a little bit in non-intuitively so the negative goes up actually the positive goes down and they sort of slide into this arm like this and then they just kind of press in and then the cover goes on now uh, one of the things I am going to do is mount the phone in here first and uh, it has and I'm going to do kind of a light balancing first there's a screw over here uh, to kind of, and you kind of want to have it a little bit balanced before you turn it on. I don't think you have to have it perfect. I'm not 100% sure. But you see it's kind of a little bit balanced there. So I'm going to try it that way. And uh, I'm using an, an old Note 5. And then so what I do is press the power button. The power button's actually on the back here. And uh, it activates and actually the one button tilts the phone up the other button tilts the phone down and these are your two modes here I think I'm getting this in so you can track it as I move the head and as I move my hand so you can do I think this one is follow me first one is and one is follow me so it uh, kind of tapers with the movement where M2 I believe is kind of fixed on one point in space so as you see as I'm moving like this it's keeping the phone locked in that orientation of space um, since it's not three access when I tilt it like this obviously it's going to tilt sideways you know so I can go this way and I can go this way in my tilt I just simply can't go at an angle like that uh, so it's rather interesting now it is Bluetooth capable so I can um, pair this with the phone so using this blue button actually activates the phone activates recording I haven't done that but uh, Bluetooth setup is pretty easy 
and uh, you know again now I've noticed because I have played with this a little bit uh, again balancing is important this is getting a little bit out of balance and so now it's getting a little upset so I'm gonna push this out here a little bit more and so you have to do a little bit of adjusting to get the balance right. And then I find putting it back into M2 kind of allows you to adjust it a little bit better. And, uh, you know, get it back in before you go back to M M1. So, uh, so far I think this is pretty interesting. I'm hoping again to uh, up my game a little bit in getting some of the... Uh, you know, imagery around the drone and everything uh, before I go to fly and things like that. I, th I think, you know, you guys have seen that in some of the other, what I'm going to call a little bit more upscale YouTube channels, drone YouTube channels. Um, you know, some of the videography of around the drones and of the drones themselves. And that's basically what they're using is, is a gimbal like this. So this is, again, what I'm kind of hoping is I'll be able to kind of uh, get that. So it does have a little bit of a learning curve. Again, I've played with it a little bit off camera. Uh, in between kind of sections of charging the batteries and, and everything just to kind of get familiar with how it works. And again, balancing it is very important. And again, I'm going to turn it off and try a little bit. So there we go. We have it a little bit better balanced this time around. Um, so again, especially with this larger phone. Now, I've also used this with the iPhone 5S. I actually think it works a little bit better with the 5S uh, because it's a lighter phone than this. Uh, I think this is a Galaxy Note 5. And so it's kind of a little bit heavy and, and uh, its center of gravity has moved over a little bit. Now you can, you know, it, as I've done, adjust it over a little bit more. But uh, I think this might be a little bit bigger phone for it. I think... Uh, uh, but yeah, it seems to be handling it now okay since I've gotten it balanced a little bit better it complained there a little bit uh, but anyways hopefully you guys found this interesting I know I'm gonna have some fun playing with it I'll have a link to this down below if you guys are interested in this I think just for general videography purposes I think this is a pretty cool little toy and it gets some sub hundred bucks for a two axis gimbal I think it's a fairly good deal and again, as I mentioned, it's got a tripod mount here, which I really like. I'm definitely going to use that. Uh, so I'll let you guys know, and you'll see this probably in some upcoming episodes. So uh, you know the routine. Uh, subscribe button's coming up over there. Let me know what you had for lunch. And hey, comment below if you got one of these. What do you think about it? Or do you have a different one or a better one? Um, you know, when I say better ones, I know there's a lot of better ones out there. But afford let's say affordable better one. Let me know in the comments. Cheers. See you later.